Welcome children, take out your civics book. Today's topic is the principles provide an element of permanence in a democracy. Power change and in a democracy, all party captures power to implement directives. These principles pull back the revolutionary and push forward the recreational, reactionary. Sanctions behind the directive principles. The directive principles have some binding principles. There are two kinds political and legal. The record of a government is judged by the voters in a political sanction. The voters judge the record of a government in the background of these directives. A party which fails to carry out these obligations may refuse to return to power. Directive principles also grants legal sanctions which are fundamental in the governance of the country. The courts upheld directive principles which are implemented to enact laws. The directive principles enhance legal value in Article 31c. Implementation of the directive principles. The directive principles needs to implement through the efforts of the state. Social justice. To provide free and compulsory education to all children up to the age of 14 years through the program of universalization of elementary education has been given the highest priority. The central and state governments provide welfare scheme for the weaker section such as providing hostels for SCs and ST students, free book, textbooks, pursuing medicines and engineering courses. The Prevention of Atrocities Act has been provided by the government to protect the SCs and STs. Economic welfare. Number one, to provide ownership rights to the poor farmers, several land reform acts were enacted. Number two, the nationalized banks provided liberal advance loans to poor farmers, artisans and those wishing to set up cottage industries. Number three, the government has set up the Minimum Wages Act to fix minimum wages for employees engaged in various employments. The Equal Remuneration Act 1976 provides equal pay for both men and women for the same kind of work. Number four, the National Rural Employment Grantee Act 2005 seeks to provide to provide 100 days employment in a year of every to every rural household in all the 619 districts throughout the country. Legal and administrative matter. Number one, Panchayati Raj covers almost all states and union territories. One third of the total number of seats are reserved for women. Number two, compulsory legal aids has been made in all criminal cases at the expense of the state. Number three, except Jammu and Kashmir and Nagaland, judiciary has been separated from the executive. Foreign policy. Number one, India's foreign policy are peaceful coexistence, disarmament and fight against colonialism and rationalism. Number two, India fully supported the United Nations peacekeeping activities. Number three, India favors nuclear disarmament, our nuclear capability was purely defensive. Number four, India's major problem are poverty, unemployment, illiteracy and poor health. Directive principles distinguish from fundamental rights. The fundamental rights are different from the directive principles. Number one, whereas rights are justiciable, the directive principles are non-justiciable. The Supreme Court and the High Court have powers to issue orders or rights to enforce fundamental rights. On the other hand, directive principles are not enforceable or justiciable. Number two, rights mainly protect civil liberties. The directive principles laid down economic democracy as our ideal. These rights protect freedom of speech and expression and the th right to profess and practice any religion. Number three, rights constitute limitation upon state action. The directive principles are in the nature of positive direction. Rights are negative in character, indicating things the state must not do. So a person cannot be prosecuted or punished twice for the same offense. Conflict between the fundamental rights and directive principles. In case of conflict, it should prevail. Number one, normally the directive principles cannot precedence uh, over fundamental rights. Being justiciable, fundamental rights are being are given more importance than the directive principles. Number two, the general welfare should prevail over the individual right. The abolition of Jamindari was upheld by the Supreme Court. Some decisions of the Court underline the 
principle that general welfare shall prevail over the individual gift. Number three, Article 31C enhances the value of the directive principle. Article 31C enhances the value of the directive principle. Article 14 and 19 states that laws made to implement the directive principle shall not be null and void by the courts on the grounds that they took away the rights, fundamental rights and the directive principles complement each other. Fundamental rights and the directive principle complement and supplement each other. The rights proclaim that India is a liberal democracy, whereas directive principle lay down that the path of country's social and economic progress. And with this, I am ending my today's class. Goodbye.